Let's talk about views within Jira product discovery. Unlike some of the other Jira products, we don't have queues or backlogs or boards. Instead, we have something called views. And within Jira product discovery, we don't just have one type of view, we have a different variety of different views. And in this video, I'm gonna break them all down for you so that you know exactly what each view does and how you and your team can use each specific view. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out the links below as you will find links to my merch, my courses, and the links to the sponsors of this video. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. This video is sponsored by Release. Let's jump into Jira product discovery and let's take a look at the different views, how to create views, and then I'm gonna show you how you should be thinking about the views so that you can create your very own views. Now this is my demonstration project for Jira product discovery, and this is just how it is out of the box. I really haven't done any modifications other than added a couple of different ideas in previous videos. On the left hand side, this is where you're going to find your views. Now, as you can see, you have a view for all your ideas, which is basically gonna be one giant list of all the different ideas that you and your team have. In these views, you can create more ideas, you can group things, you can filter, you can sort, and then you can see your fields. Now, that's not the only view that you have. You have an impact assessment view, and again, keep in mind that these are all out of the box, not something that I've actually modified. And so in here, you're gonna be able to see things relative to these fields that are being selected for you so that you can see items or ideas from an impacts perspective. So you're gonna be able to see how much effort a particular idea has, the impact of the goal, insights from the rest of your team, and a very quasi-subjective impact score that your team can also participate in. So this view is great, again, to kind of understand for each idea how important, how impactful is this particular idea. You also get an impact versus effort. You'll notice that this is more of a matrix mode where you can compare an x-axis against a y-axis and you have different information that you can cross-reference and see where things land. So this is a really powerful view as well. And then we have the roadmap view. Now the roadmap view is gonna feel very familiar if you've ever used Jira software because it's basically like a board view of your particular ideas. Now, I just showed you some of the out of the box views and you may have noticed that each view is somewhat unique. One of them looks like a list, another one looks like a matrix, and another one looks like a board. And let me show you the last one is this plan view, which basically also looks like a board, but it's basically a timeline view. So if you haven't caught on, Jura Product Discovery has four different views that you can create. A list view, a matrix view, a board view, and a timeline view. So those are the four main types of views that you're actually able to create. And if we go to create a new view, you can simply click on this create a view button here. You'll notice that you have those four same options. You can create a new list, a new board, a new matrix, and a new timeline. Those are the only four options that you have. And while you can get very, very creative with how and what you put in those views, for right now, you are limited to just those four. Now, one little disclaimer that I do wanna make, keep in mind that Jira Product Discovery is Atlassian's newest product. And so, it is constantly being updated. So, expect that in the future, you might have some more useful views, but for right now, you're just limited to those four. I wanna take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. I recently discovered Released, a Jira app that generates stunning release notes straight from your Jira tickets. What used to take me hours takes minutes with Released. It's so easy to use. Just drag and drop your issues into the editor to craft your release notes. Then, publish your announcements with a single click to your website in-app widget or confluence for internal collaboration. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. Now, how do we use these four views? Atlassian does a great job of showing us an example of each one. When you create a new project, it's just already set up for you out of the box. But when you create a brand new view, and I'm gonna click on this create view, let's just create a new list. And so when I do this, you're gonna notice that I have a title that says new view. And I can call this like view for video right and what happens here is you're actually able to creatively use this view for whatever reason or purpose you want maybe you only want video ideas right maybe you only want the ideas that are specific for a video 
Maybe your team has a bunch of different types of ideas and you want to categorize your ideas so that you have a view for your like, you know, quarter one ideas. You have a view for your quarter two ideas. Maybe you have a product, right? And so you're building multiple products and you have a view just for product A, a view for product B. And so this list view here is going to be a view that is just, again, going to give you a list of your ideas, but you can group them, you can pre-filter them, pre-sort them based on a specific field or type of view that you want to see. Now, according to Atlassian, the list view allows you to visualize, organize, and prioritize ideas based on many fields you create in your product discovery. They can be goals, effort level, business impact, and more. You can create as many list views as you want and filter the list to sort your ideas. This feature helps you hone in your strategy and increase the confidence of your team's choices. So again, you can basically do whatever you want here. You can click this little plus button, add an existing field, or create a brand new field of whatever you want. These are the available field types, which you're gonna cover in a different video, but you have a lot of creativity. You're basically given a blank canvas where all you have is the title and the key, and then you can go crazy and do whatever else you want. And of course you can have these uh, sorted out for you so that maybe based on a specific field, like maybe you have a product area, right? And so based on that product area, I'm just going to give it a specific value, right? So you have this ability to do it however you want, but this is just a list view. Next, let's go over to the matrix view. So the matrix view gives you a visual way to navigate large number of areas using multiple dimensions. For example, impact versus effort and confidence level. It's handy to identify and prioritize ideas and communicate priorities more visually. You can create as many matrix views as you want and filter them to sort your ideas. So again, if we come over here to create view, we can simply click on the create a new matrix. This is gonna give us a whole new matrix and we're gonna be able to see like video length versus impact, right? Maybe some videos are cool, some videos are not. And so we're gonna be able to click on this plus X axis and we're gonna be able to select the field that we wanna look over here. Obviously I don't have this all set up correctly, but let's just do this. And then you have your Y axis, so you pick a different field that you wanna compare and contrast that against. And then you have now your matrix view. So you can only have the two fields that you're gonna compare your X and Y, but keep in mind that you can make as many of these matrix type of views. Now this view I kinda like, I don't understand it fully, but I really like it because it's one, it's very visual, and two, it's very unique to your part of discovery. You don't get this kind of view within the world of Jira software. So there's a cool way to compare and contrast two different items that are very, very important to you and see their intersections and see that impact. So it's really, really interesting. Up next, let's understand the board view. So this is probably gonna be the easiest one to understand because it's the one that feels the most familiar if you've been using Jira. So the board view enables you to create custom boards to tell stories tailored to particular stakeholders. You can select the columns you want, for example, company-wide goals, teams, now, next, or later and then the field will automatically organize your ideas. You can also further group your ideas by other fields or layers on additional data points such as effort required for engineering leaders or the goal impact for the PM leaders. Board views give you powerful ways to engage multiple stakeholders with the same data. What's interesting is that last thing didn't say you can create multiple of these, but I'm assuming that that's gonna be the case. So when we go over here to create view, we're just gonna click on the board view here and you're again, you're gonna just give it a name, pick the columns that you wanna see, base it off of like your status or base, maybe you want a board for each assignee. And so again, you have full customizations. You call these like the assignee view board or whatever you want to call it. And now you can break it up by assignee. So it's going to work based off of any field that you create within the space. So again, you can get a little creative there and try to figure out which views or what information is important to you. And then finally is the timeline view. And, and I'm not going to lie, this is my least favorite view, although this is the one I'm most excited about. When I think about ideas, when I think about the product discovery, I'm thinking roadmaps, right? I'm thinking the timeline. I'm thinking, okay, I have an idea. How much time, how much effort, what does this horizon look like for us and our teams? And how much energy, how many calories, and what's the expectation? How can we manage when we go from this idea to this final delivery? What does that look like? And I feel like this timeline view tries to achieve that, but it does it in a way that I just absolutely don't like. The timeline view allows you to create monthly or quarterly roadmaps. This time is defined by an ideas by the date field, which you can create like any other field. Um, you do need to have a product discovery license. You have to have the project. They give you a lot more information here, but it's it's just an interesting view. So let's go look at what this looks like, right? So I'm gonna create a new one, a new timeline view here. 
And I'm just going to put my fields that I want. So you're going to set your start date. And so you can pick any start date that you want. And since I don't have any start dates or any target uh, date fields, we're just going to look at the existing plan view that they already have for us. And you can see how they break it up already. Now, again, this is where I'm imagining more like a Gantt looking type of chart where I have more like a defined start date and an end date, very similar to how they look in Jira software where you have your basic timeline and your advanced roadmap. Very, very like... I'm looking for rectangles, right? I'm looking for dates and a calendar where you can kind of relate and articulate, hey, this is what's happening. But instead what you get is this column view, which again, I don't particularly like, but you set them up by quarters. Uh, you can edit these and change them to whatever you want. You can change the colors, you can change the, the title of it, right? But this view, I, I kind of understand why they would wanna do this. I think they're just trying to simplify the idea and the communication of like, hey, this is the stuff that's gonna be expected this quarter and then this quarter and this quarter. But we're creatures of habit and we really like to see like that defined start date and that defined end date. And even though these views are gonna leverage that information to kind of pop these things in the right area, I just don't think it's the right way to do it or present it, but who am I to say? I don't work for Atlassian, but that's just my two cents. But anyways, this is the timeline view, which again, doesn't feel like a timeline to me, but you're able to create your own timelines in your product discovery. Um, you can add ideas from here. So very Trello-like, I really like that part, but I just wish it was a little bit more like a calendar view or like a traditional timeline view so that I can actually see that expectation of here's that start date and here's that end date and here's when I expect things to go out. But anyways, those are the different types of views that are available for you and that you can also create within your product discovery. So just in case those out of the box views aren't enough for you, you do have the ability to create your own views to show whatever data is important to you and your team. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. I recently discovered Released, a Jira app that generates stunning release notes straight from your Jira tickets. What used to take me hours takes minutes with Release. It's so easy to use. Just drag and drop your issues into the editor to craft your release notes. Then publish your announcements with a single click to your website, in-app widget, or Confluence for internal collaboration. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you have any questions, that comment section down there is available to you. And most importantly, don't forget to check out the links down below as these videos are made possible by the sponsors down below. And so if you wanna help support the channel, check out the different links. I got the merch store, I got the courses, and of course, discounts for the sponsors of these videos. So check all those links out, and I'll see you in the next one. So far